Hey, you up there. What? What do you want? You look like you're struggling with those shingles up there. Yeah, it's obvious. I'm out of shape. Well, I got a fix for it. You should try my bench program. Seems like it'd help you out a lot. Sign me up. What's up, guys? Today, we're doing a basic breakdown in a client's form. Um, I know I should have dropped a video like this a long time ago, but I will be dropping another video, bench video on technique here in the next month or so, um, and basically going into detail on the different things you need to put emphasis on and focus on when you are trying to have the proper bench technique. Other than that, don't forget that the new 12 week bench program has just released. Uh, you can get that at regularstrength.com. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video. Let's go. First of all, you have your you're very your legs are long. Whenever you're bench pressing, you always want to make sure your feet are behind your knees okay. because you're not getting any leverage. So let's set up, let's, so what you're gonna do to be able to do that is you're gonna have to figure out what your sweet spot is, but you wanna make sure again, your feet are behind your knees. So wherever that makes, if you like your feet flat or if you like your feet, I prefer my feet up on my, uh, where my heels are up, okay. I feel like I get more leverage, okay? Right. So that's what this is gonna do. It's gonna help transfer leg, leg drive from your legs through your quads, through your core, exerting through the movement. That's the whole point. You want to stay tight. You're only gonna, you're only as strong as your weakest link. Put it that way. Yeah. So if your legs are shifting and things like that, that's not good because you're losing in the transfer of energy. So what you want to do is slide up the bench a bit, like push yourself up. Come on, ready? There you go. Keep coming. Get your feet back just a tad bit. All right. Lock your feet in. Okay. Now drive yourself down the bench. Now five my fingers with your back. I do too. Ready? Yeah. Right, now go down to the bench. Now you see this arch right here? Yeah. This is natural. You want that, okay? Gotcha. You want a little bit of an arch. All right. Press All right, now squeeze your shoulder blades. My feet. Yeah, now press there you go. Press my feet. Everything should be tight. Right. Now spread your legs just a tad bit. Yep. There you go. Just You want to get leverage. That's where, do you feel stable now? You feel a little stable? More stable? Three, two, one. Squeeze that bar. Push them heels down. Go. Hit. There you go. There you go. Butt down, butt down. There you go. Way to go. So you want to, so once you get that uh, understanding of that, then you want to start thinking, make sure you keep your butt down on the bench. Okay. So if, if that requires you to bring your foot placement in a little bit more, that's okay. But you, the, the main thing that I see is you want to make sure that your feet are behind your knees okay. uh, for the most part and that you're not flaring your elbows out. You don't want to do that. That's where you start getting uh, irritations in the shoulder. You want to make sure your elbows are at a 45. So you want to keep your elbows right here. And as you're locking out, yes, your elbows are going to rotate, but only the last four to six inches from lockout. So you don't want to, you don't want to start, you don't want to start here and press with your elbows out. You want to start here and drive here. Once you start doing that, it's going to feel awkward the first few times. It's going to feel awkward the first four or five uh, bench sessions you have. But as you move on, you'll see that it'll, it'll, it'll carry over and you'll get, it'll come, it'll come second hand. Just your setup. So let's try it one more time without me saying a thing. There you go. Go ahead and engage, engage your feet already. Engage your feet. Yep, there you go. Drive, there you go. Everything should be tight. Yep. There you go. Down. Keep your elbows tucked. Up, 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 up. There you go. Way to go. Way to go. You see what I'm saying? How, and you can tell when you get this point, your elbows want to shake, but all that is, is you need to, uh, you need to start doing more back volume. The reason why you train your back is because it helps stabilize the weight. These are all stabilizing muscles. Your rear delts, your lats, your upper traps, these are all going to help stabilize the weight. So where you're not shifting, but it's just going to come with a lot of repetitions. You practicing the same thing over and over again. So this seems like this is probably about 95% of your one rep max, it seems. So I would go, I would start doing sets. How much is this right here? 165? Yeah, 165. So I would, and, and, and don't let that humble you, but I would do working sets of probably 135. 
okay. meaning like do like three sets of eight, uh, things like that, and then just move up slowly every week. So Tyler, he'll, 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 he can probably help you with that, but you just want to make sure you get in volume and you get used to, um, you get used to the movement first, right? So you, when, when you do that, you want to make sure you're doing um, lighter weight so you can get the form down and the weight will move more efficiently. When the weight moves more efficiently, it makes the, obviously it makes the movement easier. So it's just, I mean, I know it's a lot to take in, but just think that. So let's, let's, let's go over here, let's at least strip off. Let's strip off this 25 to finish off. Do like three sets of five. Let's see if you can complete three sets of five with this weight. Doing the setup that we told you, make sure you keep your elbows tucked and just go from there. Let's, let's check it out too. His legs are so long. Stomp and heel down. Stomp and heel down. Yeah. Let's see how this got tight. Yeah. Hold the gas. Now have Jules keep your big hand down. Squeeze that bar like your life Uh, Move down that way. Keep the heel yeah. down. So you want to make sure, okay. So you want to make sure your eyes are lined up with the bar regardless. Look how much more core we have on our stomach. Go. Squeeze it hard. Elbows tuck, elbows tuck. There you go. Push my goddamn chest. Drive your heels. At the bottom of the well, rip. Yeah, way more legs to go here. Yeah, I think I think maybe they're a little too far back. He's gangly, but where he can get his legs are so long. Yeah. So maybe keep your leg placement. Let's just move them up, just about right here. Now can you heel stop still? Yes. That's okay. what we want. At the bottom of the set, you want to drive that heel and pop from here. Let's try it one more time. At the at the bottom of every rep, drive that heel as you're pressing. <laughs> Good yeah. God. He knows, break your never gonna forget it again. Yeah. Squeeze bar. Touch your chest every time. He'll break up. Oh. Drive. There you go. A lot smoother. Night and day. Good God. He's a specialist now. Come on. Down hold. Again. Down hold. Press. There you go. That's exactly how it should look like. That's a night and day difference with just a few changes. You guys seen that? Just a few tweaks in the technique. How does that feel? Beautiful, it's great. Awesome, more stable, weight's moving, and today's day one. So once he gets to a point to where it's week 10, week 11, night and day, night and day difference, so. Pleasure meeting you, man. Appreciate I'm gonna get back to work. Yep.